Today's video, we're diving into the best note-taking applications for 2024. We're going to explore ones that are going to help you to take better notes. And also, we're going to mention some of the AI revolutions that are happening in note-taking and some of the apps that can do that trick. So welcome, my name is Francesco. If you are new here, welcome to Keep Productive. Do subscribe and check out Toolfinder with all of their apps mentioned in this video listed below, which will help you to just find the perfect one for you. But I'm sure you'll find this video useful. So if you do do comment below with the application that you've decided to go for in the comments below. So without further ado, let's dive in. And the first one on the list is an app called Obsidian. And for those who don't know, Obsidian is very much a clean PKM note-taking application. It's been growing really, really fast. They've got a fantastic app that's available on pretty much every device. It's also very much a network tool application, allowing you to connect one idea to another using backlinks. And for those who don't know they've also got a new canvas ability which allows you to express images boards ideas all in one location within your obsidian account the application has been innovating a lot in the productivity space and for many people it's a secure and really reliable way to start taking notes because it's stored on a desktop and allowed to store not necessarily on the cloud straight away although you can upgrade to obsidian sync which does get you that and obsidian publish which gives you access to publishing it as a digital garden or beyond but for those who are interested in note-taking applications, it might be a little bit too intense as it is very much a well put together PKM tool that a lot of people might not find. But it is growing and it is one that you can use for all aspects of note-taking. So one to consider when you're looking at notes apps. Next up is one that has been on the market for some time. It's called Workflowy. And if you don't know Workflowy, it very much kicked off the whole PKM space with the outliner technology being very helpful for organizing ideas, expanding on them, and bringing them together in one application. For those who don't know, Workflowy has been growing with not just the classic outliner experience, which a lot of people like, and one that actually Obsidian's brother or partner, Dynalist, actually was competing in a long time ago. But Workflowy also had boards as well, which help you to express your ideas and thoughts in a better way too. But people actually use this type of application as a combination of tasks and notes. It's a very interesting one. But Workflowy, one of the king of the outliners, and one to check out if you're looking for something slightly different to a PKM tool. Next up is Remnote. And if you're a student, this is one of the best on the market. Remnote really presents itself as a knowledge base for your ideas. It has the look of Notion, but the powers of a note-taking application. And you can not only take notes, but also flashcards as well. So this makes it perfect for students trying to remember things for their upcoming exam, and you can turn them into flashcards at very easy. You can also attach PDFs, but there are some limitations, and there are some more recent AI features inside this application. But Remnote is very well designed, perfect for students, and very easy to use. Number four is BearNote. Now, BearNote is beautifully designed. They've recently had BearNotes 2.0, a fresh update that has made the application much faster, and the editor has become much smoother. Now, the application is very much more simple in nature Nature. It's not going to be a Notion or an Evernote with their expansive note-taking abilities, but it does allow you to organize your notes in simple hashtags, which are just nested hashtags, which can help you to organize your notes in a much simpler fashion, very much like Apple Notes, but a lot more advanced because you do have a lot more abilities inside of the editor. They do have sketching and also the ability to attach files and a lot more, which is accessible in Apple Notes, but this one is really well designed and really well crafted. Now, the application is fairly reasonably priced for year two, and it's worth checking out if you're in the hunt for a lightweight note-taking experience. Next up is Super Notes. And this one, again, is very popular with students, but it's also great for collaborating on notes because you can share your notes with other people, which does work well for students, but can work well for people outside of that. There are also abilities in the apps like daily notes and more advanced note-taking that can help you connect notes up together and view them in the graph view. Now, the application is really beautiful to look at, and it's developed very very, very well with a combination of brilliant development work and brilliant design. It's worth checking out Super Notes linked below. Number six, very similar to Bear Notes. This is a simple note-taking app, but it's a very well-priced, very well-put-together notes app if you're looking for something basic and easy to use, and it's called UpNote. And this one is a really friendly approach to note-taking. It's not going to blow you away, but it is going to create a brilliant way to create notes in notebooks and also just be able to create simple notes that go along with it. This one is a very good value application in note-taking. Number seven is very much a privacy focused
focused network thought application, which has been growing in its user base because it really hooks people in. It's called Reflect Notes, and it is an application that a lot of people like because it has a combination of PKM, which you see in Obsidian, which we've mentioned earlier, but at the same time has a much more friendlier approach, in my opinion, with a calendar ability, a way to manage tasks now, and also a way to connect to your Google Calendar so that you can bring in meetings and take notes there. Now, the application itself is really nice because it has a combination of features that help you to keep your notes secure. So you will have that privacy and authentication before you get into the application, which help keep your notes protected. It's currently only available on Mac and iOS, and I believe as web as well, but with a Chrome version too. I'll include all the details to that below if you want a much more in-depth review on it. Number eight is Microsoft OneNote. Now the application OneNote has been on the market for donkeys, and it is very popular with education and academics because it has a great way to almost like having a little filing cabinet type approach to your notes, a little bit of a tab system like a Filofax, but it does have some really advanced abilities on Windows and on iPad, which allow you to sketch into the application which makes it a perfect one for students and education as a whole, but for those who are looking for a free all-round note-taking application. Number nine is probably the, one of the better GTD-type applications. It's called AmpleNote, and it combines notes with tasks and calendar as well. The one thing I love inside of AmpleNote is the task ability, because when you start adding tasks, it allows you to add a load of input and attributes about the task, and it produces something called a task score, which is their own algorithm how important your task is then it helps rank your tasks by that inside your notes app and it's also got all of the stuff that you'd expect to see in apps like obsidian and also we did a whole video about how it can be utilized with the gtd getting things done system by david allen that you can use in the link in the description too number 10 is notion it is a super application and a great for note taking if you're not looking at Easlow's second brain or thomas frank's ultimate brain for utilizing notes but also bringing all your ideas together, then where have you been? These templates are fantastic for saving time in creating the perfect note-taking space and note-taking system. Thomas Frank also has an upcoming release of a way to capture into Notion, so I'll include that link in the description below. But largely, Notion is a fantastic note-taking application now that has a real depth of abilities, including, more recently, better releases with Readwise, which allows you to bring in all of the ideas and thoughts you're having with all of your books that you're reading and bring them into your Notion account to view and reflect on later. Number 11, it's standard. And there's a real rise in these privacy, open source focused applications for note taking. So if you're looking for something secure, then standard, whilst it is very basic in its visuals, um, it actually is very, very secure. Very much like the Proton Mail for note taking and one to look at. And our number 12 is also very similar. It's Notes Nook. Notes Nook is also very privacy focused, very basic at the moment. They're actually adding reminders as well inside this application, but it has a heck of a lot of security, a little bit cheaper than standard notes, and it comes with a wide range of devices as well. Now, number 13, Evernote, the giant of the productivity space, note-taking space. It got acquired in 2020, 2023, and it's actually been growing in its releases and abilities. But largely, Evernote has, I guess, been very stagnant over the last couple of years, but there's a definite resurgence in the application, and more recently, it's been focusing on its calendar and task abilities to improve it as more of a scheduling application. And I think they want to be more of a productivity application than a note-taking app, but a very interesting one. And right now, still a brilliant note-taking application as a whole. A little bit pricey, but again, if you take price out of the equation, it's pretty decent as an all-round notes app. And number 14, this one is sort of like Notion having a baby with, uh, it's not really another comparison to it, really. <laughs> it's called Capacities. It looks like Notion, but you can organize your notes with objects. And that's very interesting because every time you create an object, it'll help you to add that thing in each time. So if you want to write and make a note on a book, then you can set something as a book and that object will live inside of your capacities account. And that's great for bringing that all together in the future. And I'm pretty sure that's going to become very prevalent when AI gets released. Structurally, that's a lot better and a lot more interesting in my opinion. But largely capacities is a very interesting note taking application, which has a combination of daily notes, graph, and also a range of abilities when it comes to text formatting that a lot of people will like. So it's worth checking out that one. So folks, we went through all of these note-taking applications very fast, but if you're interested, you can check them out below with their reviews if you're interested in going deeper with all of them. We can't cover them all in a video. I will be knackered and I can't
can cover all of the information in one video. But I look forward to seeing you again here on Keep Productive if you're interested in productivity tools. But do check out Toolfinder if you're interested in finding the perfect productivity tool, as well as all of the ones listed today. Thank you very much, folks, and I'll see you all in a future video, I'm very sure. Cheerio! Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, you can check out another video here on YouTube diving into productivity tools. But if you did want to, you can jump over to Toolfinder to discover any productivity tools, which will be linked here as well. We have a resource of over 250 productivity tools and growing. And naturally, there are reviews, insights and much more. So do check it out below. But thank you very much for watching this video.